Are you sure you want to do this, Catherine? You still have time. If you think there's any chance you would change your mind. I'm sure, Doctor. Just get it out of me. But please, don't tell my mom. I'm sorry, but we have to do that. It's the law. Nobody has to know, just pretend it slipped your mind. I have enough shit going on with her already, this would just add fuel to the fire. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. Fine. Let's just get this over with then. Right this way. Ugh, I hate that dream. Yeah, and not too subtle either. <sighs> Shown at the end is this that big re revelation, but then... yeah, we all know exactly what that dream was alluding to. Hi, cat. Feel free to use my computer while I'm away. My password is Angel Love without the quotes. If you call my friend Dave at 555-2492, he can set you up with some software. I'll be back in a few hours, super psyched about the investigation. E. P.S. No gum on the keyboard, please. Remember the last time? Oh, that was a lot for one post-it. Shit, looks like she forgot to write down the username. Oh well, shouldn't be too hard to guess. I think it's just some combination of her first and last name. Ugh. Color printer. Where's it? Oh, there is. It's some advanced. Right, walk away, Kathy, walk away. Fucking hacker, Dave. Yeah. Hey, I'm Kathy. Eileen said to call you about some software. Ellie, who? Eileen. Red hair, glasses, speaks so fast, her gums ache. Oh, right. I thought her name was Errol. Figured it was kind of a weird name for a girl. You must have a hearing disorder. You must have a thinking disorder. <laughs> this is a very witty conversation. Just wow. So, uh, the software? Oh, yeah. No, can't. Not really. Ugh, I knew she was full of shit. Nah, I mean, sure, I used to be able to get pirated software, but not anymore. There was this misunderstanding, and my network privileges were revoked. Ian Clyde, the campus IT guy, don't really see eye to eye. We used to play bocce together, and let's just say he is one sore loser. Can't you just patch things up with the guy? No way. He's such an ass. He even thinks TNG is better than the original series. He thinks the what is better than the what? Ha! I Nerd know, conversation. You believe that guy? Can't you just hack your way back in somehow? Isn't that what you do? He blocked the Ethernet port in my room. I don't even have physical access. Don't you ever leave your room? Use a computer in the library or something. Aren't they connected to the network? 
No, there are cameras in there. Clyde is just waiting for me to make a move so he can get me expelled. You call yourself a hacker? Just use your brain for Christ's sake. Let's figure this out. Wow, you're so sassy, Nancy Drew. Well, okay, only an admin account can change the access port. The only way to even theoretically crack one would be if Clyde logged on to a machine to which we have unrestricted physical access. And? Ooh, I got an idea. I'm not gonna like this. Well, what you could do is intentionally crash your PC. That sounds especially stupid. Well, not crash it, crash it. Just crash it a little, then call Clyde. Clyde will come over to fix it. If you're lucky, then he'll log on to the network using his admin account. Afterwards, you can use some of my tools to find and crack the passwords locally. Worth a shot, I guess. Okay, you can come over and set it up. No way. I have severe IBS. It just wouldn't work. IBS? What the hell is that? Uh, you seriously don't want to know. I'll have my buddy drop off everything you need. It's not rocket science. You do what I ask, and I'll get you some juicy software. Whatever, weirdo. We'll see. I remember this just being a laundry list of things to do. There was a floppy disk in there with a note taped to the back. It's labeled boot. One, boot your computer using the blue floppy. Two, use the corrupt MBR utility to crash the file system of the computer. Take the floppy out and reboot. Three, call Clyde at 555-8181. Tell him your computer crashed and give him the error code on the screen. He'll come over and have a look. It shouldn't take too long for him to fix. Four, now comes the crucial part. You need to somehow make him log on with his admin account. Five, reboot and retrieve the admin credentials using the blue floppy. Six, reboot and log on using Clyde's admin account. Seven, look for some kind of tool to remotely open my ethernet port. Dorm B, room eight. That's it. And remember, if you mess up somewhere, just call Clyde and he'll have to take care of it. It's his job after all. Right. This is going to be an ordeal. All right, time for some expert help. IT, this is Clyde speaking. How can I help you? Hi, I need you to come and fix my roommate's computer. What seems to be the problem? It won't start up. There's some kind of system failure with an error code on the screen. Probably a hard drive failure. Which room are you in? Dorm A, room 5. I'll be there in a few minutes. Thanks. Hey, Clyde from IT. Hi, come in. My, oh my, now how did this happen? I have no idea. It was like this when I started it up this morning. Hmm, let's have a look. And presto, good as new. That's perfect. Could, could you try logging on real quick just to make sure it works? You go ahead, I'll wait. Ah, oh, 
now look what I did. For crying out loud. <sighs> Let me try to log in with my account. I, I just okay. remembered that. Everything seems to be in order. I've unlocked your account. Please, try not to break anything else. Oh, I'll try. Phase one complete. The fucking Cyberdyne systems. <laughs> Admin gadget. Okay. to do it. Yeah. Guess what? You got it? Hang on. Not telling, buddy. Saving those for a rainy day. Huh. I suppose this nice floppy I've prepared for you stays in my room, then. Sure. Then I'll just have to log back on and click that pretty little lock icon again. Now this is just emotional blackmail. Quid pro quo, Dave. Fine. I'll have it dropped off at your room. Goddamn, you're like a she-Clyde. A Clydeck. Huh. That is the worst insult I have ever heard. Later, Dave. Later, Dave! You see, she got out of that by using her brain, by being manipulative. I'll just get rid of these. Not even now. manipulative. Them anymore. Ow, 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 ow. What's the word I'm after? There was a floppy disk inside. What the hell is that? Ball lightning? I'll print the whole picture for now, but there's probably more to find. Unusual flower over there, though. Never seen anything like it. Maybe worth printing? Good idea, but I should probably zoom in all the way. Oh, okay. 